As always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. some different chords on there and then tell me which chords they are. Like A chord, B chord, G chord. Okay. This is G. This is C. Say it and then play it. Okay. G. C. D. And I think this is A. What's that? Oh, no, this is A. That's yes. A. That's A. What's... Play, play that one. I let it, let it hold. <sighs> hey, dude, it was still going. I know. My thumb got... <laughs> wow. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Guys, this is an Ibanez mandolin. All solid drums. Solid, uh, it's solid Sitka spruce top and it's maple solid back maple inside. back inside. It's got the curly maple on the on the side. It's not quite as fancy on the back. As a matter of fact, it's pretty grab on the back. But the sound of this mandolin is freaking awesome. Just keep having fun. I'll oh. edit out what you don't want. This is F. I think that's an F. Yeah, this is F. Where's that F? I don't know. Post Strokes. So welcome back everybody to... Life Post Strokes.
And uh, we are talking today about the what? This is the Ibanez? Mandolin. Ibanez, mandolin, and uh, what's the material that it's made out of? A Sitka spruce top, maple back and sides. So is that Sitka spruce top, is it a solid Sitka? Yeah, solid top, back and sides, yeah. Oh, so it's all solid wood, so yeah. that's nice. Um, okay, what about the neck? Is the neck, is that, I'm pretty sure that's maple too, right? Yeah, it, the neck and the head are maple, I'm all pretty maple. sure. Yeah, it's pretty sure. Now, if you had to say one thing that you didn't like about this mandolin, what is it? Tuners. Tuners, I have to agree with them. Um, I'm going to try to give you a close-up of the tuner. Just hold it right. And I'll zoom in on that, guy so you can see them. These are not the best tuners. Um, they do the job, but they're very hard to tune, aren't they? Very mm -hmm. hard to turn. Uh, but it does hold tune pretty oh, well, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. But we're going to upgrade them. That's the first upgrade we're going to do to this, right? Well, probably the only one, because what else do we need to change? Yeah, really. If it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. <laughs> And um, we are planning on, later on, probably getting you a different mandolin too, right? After solid. Yeah, he wants to get a solid, all solid wood guitar first. Yeah. It's got to be a dreadnought. Dreadnought. Because, believe me, there's nothing that's going to beat his cutaway as far as a, what is that, a triple O? That's a, a triple X. Triple X? Okay. Oh. It's a, it's a uh, concert style guitar. It's a thin guitar. It's a thin guitar, yes. Um, so in order to move up from that, we, we, we do want to get a Dreadnought, which is the full body, the full depth, and of course we want it all solid. Uh, when I say all solid, I mean... All solid wood. Probably my preferred, I know Noah doesn't like it, solid Sitka spruce top, and I like the rosewood back and side. Because rosewood, rosewood's that one has got them deep stripes. It's what the uh, fretboard. Dark brown and... Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. So, I like to play maple. Yeah, he does love playing maple. Now, the playing maple guitars, those that are usually those big dreadnought um, with the F holes in them. Those are arch top. Arch tops, yeah. Usually, that's the ones you find with the, you know, all maple tops and back and sides. Not They're top. pretty. Yeah, they are pretty guitars. I think, though, for your first all solid guitar, it should be a dreadnought. Yeah, I want a dreadnought because I don't have one. No. Yeah, we do have Dreadnought, but we don't have yeah. any in all... Well, like we do. We do have, we have mine. Mine's yeah. all solid, but it's 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 an Epiphone. It's an older Epiphone. Um, it doesn't have the sound that a newer style, like a Fender or I think your Yamaha, sound's better than a Fender and Yamaha. I don't think it does. I think it does. I think it sounds like a very well-made Gibson. That's what mine sounds like. Honestly, if I yeah. had to... If I had to put mine against any other guitar, I mean, it would be an old, solid Gibson. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. your guitar. Yeah. Well, so do I. I, I do love it. Um, but, yeah, if I had my pick of any guitar in the world, it would be a Martin guitar. I love Martin guitars, but he's a little different than me. Yeah, you, you're trying to talk me into getting a Martin. <laughs> what guitar do you like? Your brand. Tell everybody. Gibson. The, the whole world you love. Gibson. He's a Gibson fanatic. And believe me, guys. I used to eat, breathe, and sleep. Nothing but Gibson. That was my whole life dream. And uh, and then I kind of changed. As I grew older, I kind of liked the sound of Martin. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, but there's nothing wrong with Gibson, though. They make a good product. Yeah, but your dream guitar. What would be my yeah. dream guitar? It would probably be a D24 Martin. D24 Martin. They're about $4,000. Starting price. Uh, you can actually know. I'm wrong. You can get them for about thirty one hundred. Yeah. And you already know mine. I already know this. Yeah. yeah. His starts at around three thousand. Three thousand five hundred, and it goes up. Gibson really, SJ really two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Gibson SJ two hundred. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a very nice guitar, and it sounds freaking phenomenal. There's nothing that I don't like about it, to be honest with you. I I like, I wish this was more of a solid build down here. I like this. But. Uh, other than the keys, I think that's it. Yeah. That's the only thing I would really change. I'd love to see this made out of a more solid material. One thing that does suck about having a mandolin is strings. Oh, my. Oh God. my. Yeah. Um, until we figured out actually how to. <laughs> yeah. Because before, we didn't know how to do that, and I was trying to hook it, but we yep. couldn't. You were trying to fish that yeah. freaking line. That, that and you found out it just goes back. Slide it off. But so you need, you can't do it by yourself. You no, can't. no, you, you definitely need help. You need... Because the way we do it is, I mean, we pull it up here and then we try to give it a little bit of room so you have room to wrap on the, the post and, yeah. Yeah. 
God, I wish I could play. But for not searching up a vi video on how to do it, it went pretty well. Yeah, it did help. YouTube's your friend, man. No, we didn't search up a video. Well, I didn't even know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to now. We... One thing they could have done better, though, right here. Yeah, yeah, because it looks sloppy. Yeah. It does look sloppy there. Yeah. But I don't really you pay know, attention again, to that. But that's a, that's a sign of a. I don't uh, pay attention to that's it though. That's a sign of a high, high produced instrument, you know? Something that. Show me a chord, not in play. Just one chord. Uh, that one I, I like that you played. The two strings. Show me the strings. Okay. Bottom and. Bottom and second to bottom. Okay, so it's second, third fret, bottom string next to the bottom string. Yes. Second, third fret. Nope, that's the third fret. Remember the first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the first dot's third fret? There it is. Yeah. All right, guys, we just wanted to give you an idea of what this mandolin sounded like. So if you are in the market and you happen to see an Ibanez, this, M is, this is an Ibanez. M700S-AVS. Okay, there you go. And uh, that, of course, is their all-solid uh, constructed mandolin. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you before we go, just because we have one that sounds this nice does not mean you're going to get one that sounds this nice. Yeah. Although Ibanez does a good job you know, making sure that the, the product they give you is the best product you can get. You know, you may have to do... We had to... What, we had to file these? Yeah, we these were... Yeah, we have to file this down, then change this, because yeah. it's too far over. Yeah, the strings are off yeah. so we had to we had to move some stuff. Um, we definitely had to move that for intonation. I had to lower everything down. And once I filed the nuts and got this down to yeah, really before, super low. Yeah, because before, they were really high up really before. Hard to hold yeah. Strength, wasn't it? Now they're really easy to push down. Yeah, you just touch it, and there's no buzz. Play D. Okay, play my favorite one, did. No. Oh. That's it. Okay, I want you to play that one chord and just let, and then once you play it, let it ring out again. Listen to the, just listen to the sustain on this. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing and also... Hit that thumbs up, guys. It really helps us out a lot. So I'm done bugging you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and... We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Perfect.